Today I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful landscape full of fantasy characters. I'm going to reveal you a lot of tricks along the way, so be sure to watch the entire video. For my starting image I uh, used this one with rocks and a cave and I added a mask and on top of it I used this uh, photo of this tree, I added a mask and I placed the tree here on the left side and on top of those rocks I used this picture and I kept the stairs and the left side. So uh, this part over here I placed it on the left side. Then for the right side I found this really cool image of uh, this castle. I added a mask by removing the sky and then with the clone stamp tool I removed all the people that uh, were in the image. So I placed that image of the castle on my right side and in front of the castle I used uh, an image with uh, a part of this lake. I placed it underneath the picture with uh, the castle and I have added a mask on the castle so it looks like the castle has a lake in front of it. Then step by step I started to build each level for the mountains. So I started with this part of uh, this image with the mountains. So that part I cut it from the background and I kept only the mountains area. And I love this part of the mountains also so I placed them that uh, image with the mountains in the back of the middle mountains and I needed a sky also but I couldn't decide if this sky works so I mixed a few images with uh, skies so first one I uh, started with this one and then I uh, used this one also on top and also this one and I ended up with this sky at the end and for those mountains that uh, are the furthest away, a really cool trick to blend them better with the background is to add a color overlay. So you double click on the layer and you go to the color overlay and here the blend mode should be color and in my case I use this bluish color and the opacity to 51%. And another cool trick because they are too bright and I want them to be a bit uh, darker is to go to image and here on the adjustments you should pick shadows and highlight and here you can play around I decrease the shadows to zero and I add it around 20% amount of highlights and now the mountains uh, look much much realistic over there then I repeated the process for uh, those mountains I added a bluish color set to color of course so uh, they match better with the rest and between them I added some clouds to make this uh, part of the mountains more realistic. If you want to learn how to add clouds you should watch my tutorial because I explain here a lot of stuff. For the castle because it is to sharpen I have added a Gaussian blur and now it blends better with the background. Then. I wanted to cover this area, this uh, foreground area much better, so I added uh, pieces from other images. So uh, from this one I kept uh, part and I added uh, that part here on the right. So uh, now it completes better that uh, corner. I added uh, another one from the same image and, and another one on top. So uh, this uh, right corner now it's uh, complete and then for this part the left part of the right side from this image I kept only the front and I have added a mask the last one I place a part of the mountains here on the bottom area and I added a mask and then with uh, levels and selective color I uh, blend them together so they look like they belong there. I started with the furthest one, I added um, a levels, I added some contrast by dragging this slider from 1 to around uh, 0 0.7 and then with selective color I modified the neutrals and I set the blending mode to color. I repeated the process to the other parts of the image and a really cool trick to have this part more realistic I just added a color fill adjustment layer and uh, I fill it with this grayish blue color and I went to the mask inverted the mask and then on that mask I took the brush and I switched to the white color and I decreased the flow of the brush to around 6% and I started to paint on uh, the mask with the white color and as you can see on the screen it adds an, uh, some depth over there so those parts of my image look like they are further away and here where the lake 
it's uh, intersecting with uh, the rocks I manually painted some uh, waves so it looks like uh, the lake is hitting uh, the rocks over there basically I will repeat the same processes uh, like adding uh, levels to this part of the, the tree I decreased a lot the whites I moved this white slider to the left I did the same thing with the other parts of the image that I have used in this left corner so I use the same levels here on those rocks and on top I have uh, added some branches I selected the branches from uh, this image don't forget to watch this tutorial to see how you can easily remove the sky from a picture like that. And I place uh, that uh, part of the tree on uh, the top part of my design. And then I placed everything into one group. And with uh, levels I have added a bit of brightness here on my uh, left tree. With selective color I have modified again the neutrals and I have added some lights here on this area because the light that comes from the sky is touching this part of uh, the tree so I added an exposure adjustment layer and I have added uh, here some brightness I increased the exposure and I added some color into that uh, exposure by using uh, hue and saturation please watch this tutorial so you can understand easily how you can do the same thing really really quick to create the rest of the story I had to add some characters I found this uh, incredible picture with this bear sleeping and I placed the bear here and I added a mask and it looks like my bear is sleeping inside that uh, cave I repeated the process with uh, selective color where I have modified a bit the neutrals I also added uh, levels where I have uh, decreased a lot the whites and also exposure on the right side where we have the lights the right side and on top of the bear I have added a little bird here on this uh, part of the cave of the rocks I have added this picture of this tag place it uh, there I used the uh, curves adjustment layer to brighten the uh, stag then selective color where I have changed again the neutrals exposure to darken the stag and levels to darken the left side even more on the right side some exposure where the uh, lights are touching the stag now is the time to add here the princess I use this image so after I added a mask to select the princess and uh, because I do not use AI I do things manually this part took me a lot of time with the clone stamp tool I stayed and I cloned those parts of her hand and at the end I ended up with this result so I placed her on the stairs and then I duplicated the layer with her I placed it underneath uh, added a mask so I kept only this part of her dress and with the puppet warp I dragged each part of the dress so at the end it will look like that like the dress is falling over the the stairs so in order to do that you go to edit puppet warp and after that you start to add a lot of points here on the mesh that the puppet warp has and you start to drag a few times a lot of times in this case you start to drag all those parts so you create at the end the shape that you want by using a layer set to multiply I painted underneath and uh, I added uh, some shadows then I added levels adjustment layer where I have uh, decreased the whites another levels here on our left side another levels where I have decreased again the whites here on the bottom area and with hue and saturation I have changed the color of her dress and then with exposure I added a few lights on the sides by increasing the exposure and painting on the sides where the lights are touching her body and her dress with a soft round brush I painted some hair manually painted some hair then I manually painted this staff that you see here and talking about that stuff I'm really proud to announce you that I created a 36 staff pack so you can use into your artworks they are really easy to use you just drag and drop them and you don't have to worry about their size because they are already high quality transparent PNGs at 300 dpi you can download them on patreon R station gumroad or even Etsy they are really cheap and it will support this channel a lot if you would purchase them the download is in the video description I added a crystal inside this uh, staff and some leaves 
to make it more realistic. I have added a little mouse here on uh, the left side. I thought that the mouse is completing uh, much better the design. And then I painted some magic on uh, the staff and on her hands. And you can uh, follow this tutorial. I mean, I have at least 10 tutorials on my uh, channel where I explain how to create this type of magic. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video to keep me motivated to post high quality videos like this one.